Hey, welcome back. Okay, we are decluttering my closet. One of our high, most highly trafficked areas because we have our laundry thing there. Our, that is just, that is coming. That is an absolute nightmare. We have our stroller that sits in our house is our coat closet. This holds four seasons plus rain gear. So there's a lot going on here. Just show you what we have. So we have shoes here. We have my husband's shoes down here. This is the shoe bin that my son and I just like throw our flip flops in so that it's really easy access. I have a pair of shoes in here. Shoes, shoes, more shoes, shoes. This is supposed to be our like summer gear, our winter gear. And then we have another one with winter gear. I don't think we have anything underneath there. This is everything that I have to bring to the shred location. This is another pair of my boots. We have lots of coats and sweaters. We have my gym bag, and then we have extra hangers in here. And then we have a couple beach towels, our rain cover for our stroller that we use a lot. Then up here, we have the hiking backpack that we use for our kids when we take them hiking. We have some snowboarding boots. We have who knows what. This is supposed to be tools and stuff for the house, but that is just a mess. Up there is supposed to be like all our electronic stuff. through the stuff in the bags first and then we'll we'll go through the rest okay this I absolutely love this video but I don't need to keep the video like I can donate that or I can buy it so I don't need that this is all of our like camera bag stuff and if we ever resell it that's something that we need to keep so unfortunately I can't let this go. We had this. Oops, we had this, Mama. Whoa, why do we have a new phone? No, it's not a new phone. Why is it like that? I don't know. Who bite that? Okay, I have this case with my pop socket that I made in it. Um, I don't feel like I need to keep the case, but I really like the pop socket, so I'm going to keep the pop socket. Okay. That looks fine for me. This looks fine for me. Okay, this is my phone case. Um, a new phone cord? I, I need to keep these beads, so for sure, and then I'm going to definitely keep my cord. Um... I feel like I can let go of the box because I just don't need to store so I think the video. I feel like this would be perfect for my earrings. I'm going to ask my husband like what what this is for. It just has this like one and mini screw and I don't understand like what does this go to? So this is the question pile. I feel like we can get rid of this. I will double check with my husband, but I'm not understanding why we have kept this. You got a new phone. Why is that? How did you get a new phone? Mm, just like an iPod touch that I want to keep. We have a key. I, I don't know what this key is for. I feel like this is such a waste of space to put everything back into, but it's all I have. So this is like what I'm going to do. And then when I like buy new things for that, then I'll like buy something smaller. Okay, I'm going to put the stuff on the ground up there because my daughter is getting like super unhappy. And then we can move on to the bottom.
found some bird seed. Forgot about that. Um, thing I need to put up there. Okay, the first one. Right off the bat, I am getting rid of this. Um, this doesn't really fit my son anymore, and he does love it. But it just doesn't fit, so we gotta get rid of it. We just got these for my daughter. I... These are the same size shoes, but these don't actually fit my daughter, so I'm going to try to sell these. I am going to sell these as well. We've got sunscreen we're going to keep. I'm going to get rid of these sunglasses. I'm going to keep this hat. Done the summer stuff. Okay. This I am going to keep. I don't know where the other mitten is for this. So if I don't find it, donate. We're going to keep this because my daughter can't really pull off this hat. Keep this, this. Um, these go together, keep my husband's insoles, keep, get rid of, and then keep these and keep this. And then the last drawer has like more, more toques. So I'm gonna put that there. This is also like my daughter's toque. It just is a little bit too big. We'll fit her next year though. And then I'm actually going to give these to my mom or see if she wants them. I got my husband's mittens and my son's goggles. Here we have a snowsuit that will probably fit my daughter next year, so I don't want to get rid of it. I'm realizing that I have kind of a ridiculous amount of like coats and sweaters. Um, <gasps> oh my goodness, this is like kind of not good. Also, I just remembered I have another spot that I have sweaters on. Okay, this jacket right here, there's so much I have to say about this. As you can tell, as you can tell, I am trying to avoid other messes in my house by making another mess and decluttering. But that is just me. <laughs> Anyways, on oh, was it? Wait, what are you doing? Show them, show them what you're doing. No, you gotta come back here. <laughs> you look like a goofball. <laughs> funny the thing about this coat I'm gonna take it off is this was like probably my first big girl clothing purchase I discovered this store called like man and woman I am from like a small town so I really didn't grow up with like Gucci or like anything that was like very very good quality so when this store came in in like my kind of 2015 maybe 2016 I was like oh finally something that has like stylish clothes but a little bit more adult and not like the bay I spent like probably like 140 or like 200 which was a huge purchase for me at the time considering that I was only working at a restaurant like probably 30 hours but I was working on like a server's wage so I wasn't making a huge amount of money plus I just had like other bills <laughs> I hope your mask is on oh you're a good ball <laughs> I'm a baby so, I'm a baby okay yes. Shh. so that being said 
I decided to make the purchase and I've held on to it for so long because it was something that I was like really proud of but also started my journey come so far from that part of my life where I felt like just because it was name brand just because it was at a trendy store that I needed to buy it and I realized that not everything that is sold at these fancy stores is actually stylish and is actually cute specifically for like my body type or my personality so i just held on to it for so long because i didn't have like much like it I was holding on to it too because i thought it was a hundred percent wool and i was like i see a lot of value in keeping like a wool jacket and then i was just talking to my husband the other day and i was looking at the tag and i'm like 40 percent polyester what what and like, I know it's still 60% wool. There's a huge warmth difference between having 100% wool and like 60, 40. I got the mom bun on and it is like seven o'clock. So we went through the tool stuff and there wasn't much, but there was some garbage and just some stuff that my husband's gonna take to work. So I'll just show you everything right now. Just my house is a disaster. So we're just gonna accept that. So this whole bag is garbage. Like there's probably like 20 things in there. And we have a bunch of stuff that like is partly garbage. Some of it's videos, like old handles and stuff, a hanger, um, iPhone case. And then we have all of this stuff in here. Mitten, shoes, hats. All that stuff donation i'm selling one two three and i'm also selling another coat somewhere as well hey guys so i just got to the end of my footage and realized that i must have lost like the end part of decluttering so i have the like after results of me filming like what it looks like and i'll like pop some of the video up here but I honestly don't know what happened. I lost my outro too. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this decluttering video. And make sure you subscribe down below for more weekly videos. Bye guys.